In honor of Flagstaff's annual Route 66 Day celebration, we're here in front of the historic Museum Club, a Route 66 icon. I'm Jessica Stevens from the Flagstaff Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I'm here with Jim Hardy from the Flagstaff Visitor Center. Thanks for being with us today, Jim. Pleasure to be here. So, tell us a little bit about Route 66 in Flagstaff and maybe it, the impact it's had on our town? Well, Route 66 has been a very important part of our town from the beginning. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that the route of this uh, road actually started out life as a camel trail coming through this region. Really? How's that? Lieutenant Beale was commissioned to uh, bring a wagon road through this region. One of the things he was asked to do was also to experiment with camels as beasts of burden. But don't realize that uh, the first people to travel along this route were camels. Really? And now they're tourists? Now they're tourists. In 1926, there was an influx of tourism coming into Flagstaff, uh, both with the railroad and along the newfangled roads that were coming through. When they uh, paved Route 66 and brought it through this region, it brought a lot of people coming in to go to the Grand Canyon to the north of us, to the reservation to the north of us. And that was an important thing to our economy. Tourism has always been an important part of our economy. Yeah. So the annual Route 66 Days Festival is going through the weekend, and I hear that you are going to be giving historic tours of Route 66. That's true. We're going to be doing tours on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Friday, we're going to be doing them at 3 o'clock. Sunday and Saturday, we're going to be doing them at 9.30 in the morning. They're easy to get to at the Visitor Center train station right on Route 66. We start at the train station, which is one other one of the Route 66 icons. Actually, it was built in 1926 when the route came through Flagstaff. Uh, some of the things that we'll talk about along the way, and not only will we talk about the train station, but we'll talk about the Dubot Hotel. Uh, the motel, that's the first motel that was built in Flagstaff. At the time, it was a pretty posh place. It had heated garages, it had carpeted floors, and actually in-room toilets. All to make the visitors comfortable, All right? All to make the visitors comfortable. <laughs> uh, from there, we'll move down. We'll talk about Route 66, the original Route 66, which a lot of people don't realize actually went south of the tracks, mm -hmm. uh, didn't go under the underpass. That wasn't built until 1937. Uh, we'll actually continue on talking about the uh, Granny's Closet. Uh, one of the things that people don't realize is the lumberjack at the NAU Dome was the very first of those plexiglass uh, lumberjacks that were made, and it was made for the, uh, the Lumberjack Cafe, which is now the Granny's, uh, Granny's Closet restaurant. I went there and I didn't know that. That's an interesting tidbit. <laughs> Uh, other things we'll talk about, we'll talk about the underpass in and of itself, talking about how that was built as a uh, as part of uh, Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal during the Depression, and uh, you know actually changed the route of Route 66. A lot of history, and all of this is free and open to the public. You can call the visitor center. The number is 928-774-9541. Or you can visit us online, flagstaffarizona.org. That's it from the Flagstaff Convention and Visitors Bureau, on location at the Museum Club on Historic Route 66. We'll see you all next week. Back to you, Tyrus.